this kind of experience is like coming out here in midwinter, snow camping, riding pillow lines. It's really involved, but the reward is just unreal. You wake up and you're standing on top of the sickest run of your life. There's a lot of variables coming into this pillow line. So if you get out of control at all, which it'll be super easy to do, there's not a whole lot of room for air at the bottom. First thing I saw when I flew in here a few days ago, and it's been on my mind ever since, but it's uh, pretty intimidating. It's, remember, it's just mellow. Yeah. That is a bucket bronco. show that what we're doing out here is pretty dangerous. When you see someone as experienced and knowledgeable as Lucas go down like that, it makes you think twice about what you're doing. The path we have chosen for the present is full of hazards, as all paths are. But it is the one most consistent with our character and courage as a nation and our commitments around the world. And one path we shall never choose, and that is the path of surrender. The boat we took up to this town is full of like 50 sled dogs, where all of our gear was. I think any time that you push yourself out of your comfort zone, the dynamics of the group is one of the most important aspects of uh, an expedition and working with Johnny, Hillary, and Ralph truly was that, that like prime group of people. From the recent rain, it's caused the snowpack to get super wet and everything's kind of peeling out in wet slides. really thin on the edge. So right now we're just taking hit after hit at the pack ice trying to get the boat into more solid territory. Yeah, somebody let the dogs out. <laughs> did you let the dogs out? No, I didn't. <laughs> they were ready to go. The dogs are ready. idea what we were getting into and um, I hope we find some snow. There's some of the ice and pretty much sank you know three feet into the water so I don't know where we just went. Checked in we're a little bit farther up the pack ice towards the toe of the glacier. Avalanche is coming down from either side on both aspects into the valley, and the ocean's coming up from beneath us. Everything's just melting down. We got two avalanches like that one right there. <laughs> 